We've been super excited recently. All the nubs have been starting to pop up on our dendrobiums. We've been getting hundreds and hundreds of these knobs and we've been so looking forward to this amazing display of colour that we get in early spring. And we've been watching them expand and now we have a problem. So you can see big winter woolies, jerseys underneath, hoodie for when it gets chilly. But I'm braving this. To show you the troubles that we're having and hopefully if you can avoid this happening to yours you can get the most amazing spring displays out of your dendrobium nobles good morning from the nature company welcome to a damp a damp welcome to a damp dreary cold winter's morning we've been watching our amazing dendrobium nobles push up their tiny little buds waiting for the amazing display we're going to be getting in spring but we've got a problem the rains came early this year so our spring rains have come now towards the end of winter and we're having a problem with our dendrobiums with the dendrobiums getting water at this time of year is not ideal for them and let me explain to you why and one of the ways that you at home can control such situations. Watering with dendrobiums is one of the biggest problems if you're not getting them to flower properly. Other than the temperature changes and the rest periods that they need during their winters. So now with all the early rainfalls, all our little budlets that we're forming that we're going to be producing our flowers have all started turning into kikis so it's going to be amazing to be able to produce hundreds and hundreds of plants from our big mother plants but that's not what we wanted we were growing these for the incredible displays and now all we're going to be land up doing is getting all these hundreds of kikis and very little flower so this is just to show you how important timeous and proper watering of your dendrobiums can be. At the younger stages they're undifferentiated and as the plant gets more water at this point the plant then turns these buds into kikis thinking it's it's now time for the spring growth as opposed to the the flowering. Yeah, you can see very much the same problem with this Dendrobium kingianum. All these amazing kikis that have been produced all over the plant. These should have been flower spikes, but water at the wrong time of year for it. And those flower spikes turn into kikis and you land up with a million plants and no flowers. So especially with Dendrobium nobles, they want a good long rest period from watering and feeding. Here generally we stop our watering in May. We don't supply any water or food in June or July. And we allow August rains to, to then come and start watering our plants. And only once the flower buds have formed. And they're quite distinct from the, the kikis. They, they divide up into three little separate branches that will then have a bud on each of those tiny little branches that will produce the flowers. So it's quite easily identifiable as they get beyond a certain point and once you have noticed that those buds are, are fully formed then you can start feeding and watering your dendrobiums again. But before that don't do it you'll land up with all these kikis and you'll get a fuller plant but again you won't have any flowers again until next year so if you're keeping your plants outdoors like we do you'll need to be able to move them undercover if you find that it looks like the rains are going to be coming earlier than expected 
and that way at least you'll be able to save the majority of your plants from having a non-flowering season. And people always ask me, how do I tell the difference when a bud is going to turn into a kiki or into a flower spike? For me, I just take the general rule of when they're short and they get stubby at the bottom, they produce almost what looks like the beginning of a bulb at the, the bottom. That's often when they turn into the kiki. And more often, the sharper ones that don't produce such a large bulb here at the base, where it joins the stem, those will more often than not turn into flowers. This is just an observation that I've had from my years of working with them, but it's not always 100% true. Sometimes those sharp ones just, when you look away, turn into a kiki too. So just, you can get a better idea of, of which ones are going to, to turn into kikis and which ones still have the possibility of producing flowers for you. And with these Dendrobium Nobile types, generally, as you can see here, they do get some full sun for part of the day and I generally find for them to flower their best they need that bright bright light um, up to even full sun all day to produce the maximum flowers and also with these one of the, the things that a lot of people find difficult to wrap their heads around is that they are thirsty plants. During their growing season they like to be watered, 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 watered but then again they want that rest period over winter when the temperatures cool down to just sit and do nothing and let the canes mature and that's when you get the best displays. And you never take off the old canes until they go brown and dry because these can still produce huge amounts of flowers on your plant. Here we can see a lot of the, the buds that have formed have been on the, the older canes. Thank you for watching and if you found any of this information helpful please hit that like button subscribe and hit that notification bell bing bong to be notified of any of our upcoming videos happy growing and help us grow as we help your orchids grow <laughs>